Before I kick off the show, I just want to respond to a question that I get asked frequently, and that is, is it worth collecting in 2023? Now, my honest answer will be absolutely no, especially if you're looking for them retro classics that you had as a kid, because they can be extremely expensive, especially in 2023, let alone when I started back in really between, I say, 20, 2009, 2010, something like that. But collecting in general can take over your gaming life. But the reason why I say that, it, it just never ends. You always find something you want to get or you're not happy with or sometimes you even sell stuff and then you're scrambling to get it back. That's happened to me a lot of times. But I say the cut-off point to collecting was the best time was to collect is any time really before 2012 I'm being kind but really it's 2010 and backwards. Like I wish I started collecting towards at least the early 2000s. But there you go guys. If you got the funds, why not? Knock yourself out. True Gamer here, back with another collection video. I haven't done one of these collection videos for a mighty long time, so my collection has been piling up with pure, tasteful items. So let's start the show with my first entity into the circle of life. So with the lifting of the veil, this is the Resident Evil 7 replica mansion. And the reason why I got this is because I am looking to complete the collection and get all of the other items that go with it. And this is where you will find the Baker family who will give your life the living hell inside of the game. And here's the back. I always wanted this in my collection because the Resident Evil 7 Collector's Edition sold out in a flash and I missed out on that one. So hopefully in due time, I will be able to complete the set and get everything that comes with it. So yes, it will be an ultimate mission to get the rest of these items so I can actually complete this collector's edition. Now this shows how long it's been since I've done a collection video because I am showing the 8500 Mini, which has been out for over a year now. And I have to say, if you're a lover of the Amiga, this mini console is right up your street. All I have to say, go check out my mini console collection because I show some absolute treasures in that video. Now, these two accessories are a must have if you own the Neo Geo arcade stick. And I advise you to grab this now while the prices are low. Now, this is the Neo Geo Arcade Stick Pro silicone cover and this is what the back looks like and it will protect and preserve your arcade stick to the fullest. This is the ball top silicone cover and once again you put it on the top of your joystick and it will give it some life for years upon years upon years. So if you got yourself your Neo Geo arcade stick, 100% you should invest in these two lifesavers. So as you see in front of you here, I have added some special classic gems to my bitmap books collection. Now I'm a huge lover of bitmap books, so you know these two books were always gonna end up in my collection. Now. This is basically the PC Engine Encyclopedia and this is the Beat em Up Bible. And the name of this book is Go Straight, The Ultimate Guide to Side Scrolling Beat em Ups. Give you a quick flick through. I've already done an unboxing of this or 
when I was doing my bitmap books video. Now, Kung Fu Master, legendary on the, the N64. No, not the N64, the Commodore 64. That's what I most remember it by, but it was in the arcade. Now, yeah, give you a quick breeze through, but like I said, I have done a bitmap books collection video and I will leave that in the link below. So there you have it guys. And I've just shown a video on my PC engine. Now this is the collector's edition. So if you haven't got the collector's edition, you would just have the plain and simple book. You wouldn't have the sleeve and you wouldn't have this book cover with some wonderful illustrations plastered on the front of it. So there you have it guys, the latest addition to my Bitmap Books collection. Sticking to the subject of books, these are two of my most favourite franchises and they were brought to life by Nintendo. I had to get this ancient looking Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, the complete official guide which I will open once I jump back into the game and I can't believe I haven't finished it yet. But having this ultimate guide will definitely help me finish the game. Now this book reminds me of a medieval time period and you can never go wrong with the Super Mario complete book and this is most definitely the ultimate guide to gaming's most iconic character. So I'll give you a quick flip through of what to expect if you're interested in getting this book. Now, I got mine on Amazon. They're going for pretty cheap at the moment. So if you're looking to get one, my advice to you is don't wait, don't hesitate or you might end up being too late. So this is the Super Mario complete book and it has all the games ever made, even the ones in the Game & Watch era. And I've got a bunch of Super Famicom games which I got for record-breaking prices. And these are one of the few consoles that I will still collect for. Cause yeah, I've got a massive soft spot for this gaming time period. So here is Joe and Matt Caveman Ninjas, a fantastic platforming adventure. And I advise you, if you do have a Super Nintendo or a Super Famicom, definitely experience a few levels on this game. And here is Super Mario RPG. Looking forward to the remake on the Nintendo Switch later this year, but it's always nice to have the original. And then we have Romancing Saga 2. Got this for a groundbreaking price, which was crazy considering how much these go for. So this was a Data East creation and these, two here were a Squaresoft invention and I've got to say Squaresoft in this generation were working on overtime for the Super Famicom. So yeah got these three for a mega bargain deal and very happy to have them all in my collection. And over the past 18 months I've added a few fancy controllers and one of them is this gem the 500 million controller for the PS4, a very rare translucent masterpiece and is now a expensive Sony commodity. So that is the 500 million controller. Now that's not sealed, but this is, and it's for the PS5, God of War Ragnarok, limited edition DualSense. Now I always try to support Kratos when it comes to these limited edition controllers. So this is always going to be on my hit list. And I have to say the price for this DualSense constantly keeps rising. Now I suppose you're saying, why this? The Logitech 
F710. Now some will call me bonkers, some will say I'm reaching, but I will say I'm on point with this theory. In due time guys, this is going to cost a bomb. So all I need is the flight bomb sticks and then I will be well and truly in Stockton Rush mode. I got this for one reason and one reason only. This was used to control the Ocean Gate Titan submissible. I say no more. And we have the purple dual sense. And this can turn heads wherever it may be displayed inside of your gaming room. Absolute showpiece and very attractive. And this has to be one of my most adored controllers in my collection so far without a shadow of a doubt. Microsoft always smash it in that department. And this is the Xbox One controller Starfield limited edition. And this one will definitely set your controller stand on fire. So Bethesda have produced a wonderful creation here. Hope Starfield can set the software scene on fire when it is released early next month. So the Starfield limited edition controller. So next up, I've added some sleeves to my collection. I've got two lenticular sleeves. One is a Resident Evil 4 sleeve, which is the lenticular version. Unfortunately, you have to buy these separate can't even get them in collector's edition. And this is the Street Fighter 6 lenticular sleeve. And once again, I've got this Final Fantasy Pixel Remastered, the one where you have um, all six of the Final Fantasies from one to six. This is not lenticular because I know with the collector's edition, you do get a lenticular version and this is always nice to have, just say you had a copy of one of these Final Fantasies on the PS4 or the PS5, you can customise the look with that sleeve. And once again, you don't even get a sleeve with your Final Fantasy 16 Collector's Edition. I don't even think you get it with the Deluxe. I think this is custom made, I'm not too sure, but I think you, you have to buy it with one of the one of the um, versions of the game to get this sleeve. So I had to once again double dip and I do like the way this sleeve looks. And as you see, this sleeve is basically, you have on one side, you have the reversible cover, which is this side. And then you have your original cover, which comes with all of, with all of the versions of the game. So yeah. I do like my sleeve collection and they are gradually building up. And I've always wanted a OLED Slim Switch case for my Nintendo Switch collection and also for my Nintendo Switch. So this is one I can tick off my wanted list. Now this is what it looks like when you actually have your Nintendo Switch inside of the case. I suppose it makes it look very slim and sophisticated and not too much bulk hanging out left, right and centre and very easy to travel with. So yeah, can't fit much in the case like my other ones, but if you're just on a short journey or a trip to someone's house or something, doesn't live too far, this will be the perfect case for you. Or in general, you just don't want nothing too heavy that day. So there you have it, the OLED Slim Nintendo Switch case. Check that out. And the very unique thing about this, guys, it has a magnetic top cover. I've got a stash full of Hyperkin cables for my retro systems, so I had to retrieve this for my legendary Saturn setup. Now this is a must have if you want to see your retro colours start body popping 
out of your TV screens. So this is the Hyper King HD TV for the Sega Saturn. So next up, I've got the Razer Kishi for my Samsung S21 Pro. Now I can't show you a demonstration because my Samsung S21 Pro is recording us right now. But this will turn your smart device into the ultimate handheld. And I managed to get this for a mega deal on Amazon at the time. I don't know if the prices are the same still, but yeah, if you can get one of these for cheap, don't hesitate, pull the trigger. And remote play with the ninth gen consoles is a proper game changer. It will give you that handheld feeling with state of the art graphics. And if you've got that retro set up on your phone or yeah, set up on your phone, this is the perfect accessory for you, the Razer Kishi. Now this is a bit of a niche accessory and is only for a selected few, but this is a great way to travel with your Nokia N-Gage cartridges. And yes, I still roll with my Nokia N-Gage phone, which is a very underrated and a very unappreciated piece of equipment from Nokia. So at this time, only me and a few others still keep the Nokia N-Gage alive. And if you want to learn more about this device, go and check out my Retro Circle video and I'll leave the link in the description. I saved the best till last and that is I have a new system to enter the collection realm. So this Xbox One was the only one I was missing from my Xbox console collection. I had every variation apart from this VCR Bohemian Tank. But it's finally here and I'm very happy. Just check this out. And this is the Sunset Overdrive Edition. The box is just oozes glam from the back, the front and the sides. Artwork is absolutely terrific. And that's why I always wanted the Sunset Overdrive version. And I've got my Sunset Overdrive, um, a digital copy and I've also got a physical copy. So I'm definitely gonna jump back in one day and complete Sunset Overdrive. Now I still have a few extra bits and bobs to make this a complete addition, but I got the main crux of it, so I'm happy. I even got this insert. I think I'm missing the cardboard bits that go on each side of the console, but at least I've got the box in fair good condition and we have this cardboard insert and this would this is where your power brick will be along with the all your accessories the hdmi the control pad and all that good stuff so yeah i'm well on my way just have to really get the white controller the hdmi and i think the um the mono headsets and all of that so there you have it guys i've got the very first xbox one also referred to as the vcr i think i'm only missing two which is the xbox sad and the xbox series s so once i have them two digital versions of the consoles i will be complete and i would have every console made from Microsoft and that is my aim. That just about rounds up the video and as you see I am buried with collectibles. Now I couldn't show you everything that I added to my collection over the last 18 months. If I did we can be here all year but at least I have some more 
material in the pipeline for a future collection video. Okay guys, if you like the video, give me a thumbs up, even better, subscribe. Till next time, see ya.